we know that the national under 17 they have been in camp for the last for the better part of of six weeks um and uh they of course preparing for the players were were told who are in the, the squad uh, but we'll tell you now Mr. Vassal Reynolds, who has been working along with Meron uh, and the other coaches, he knows the players. So he'll take, uh, read the names of the players and uh, give you a little bit about each player. Go ahead, uh, Vassal. Um, thank you very much, Earl, and good morning to your listeners and, um, and viewers. So after... Uh, Camping in house camping on January 5th, 2023, almost four weeks to date. Uh, extensive practice and following uh, our technical staff assessment uh, 24 hours ago, we came up with a 20 man squad that we are confident and feel that should uh, help us to achieve our ultimate goal, and that is to qualify for Peru in November. Uh, so uh, the 20 players reads, Tawain Lynch, uh, goalkeeper, uh, very sure-handed, uh, uh, very good technically, uh, very clean with, with his hands. Joshua Grant, goalkeeper, uh, he is also very good technically. Uh, the, the competition is very, very, very uh close between both keepers. Both keepers always keep themselves honest at training. Uh, I hear Dixon, the leader of the defense, sure footed, uh, very good in the air. Uh, Alex Vera Gooden is the, 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 the physical presence in defense, very good in terms of one on one. Uh, Malik Robinson brings some amount of balance to the defense plays more than uh, one area in the defense line and also can 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 be used in, in the midfield, very consistent in his defensive play. Adrian Reed, technically one of our better players, he's also uh, one of our utility players that can move from defense up into midfield, very good with the, with the ball at his feet and, and is very good early also. Uh, Malachi Molina, works very hard in midfield um, and also plays at the right side in defence. Very good with the ball at his, at his feet and, and, and will help the team, especially in attack a whole lot. Uh, Nashan Bolt Barrett, very sturdy in defence. Uh, one of those defenders that, that, that when it comes to 1v1 situation, you can always rely on. And it, he also gives us some, some strength going forward. Um, Brandon Bent, uh, possibly one of our better defenders uh, on, on the left side. He has a cultured left foot and and um, uses the ball very well. Uh, Ronaldo Barrett, uh, he's one of the midfielders that is very calm, uh, very steady in midfield, strong, physically uses the ball well and shoots very well also. Uh, Jason White, Another midfielder that works very hard, um, very good with the ball at, at his feet. Um, and technically, he will give us a lot in midfield. Um, Jordan Mangatal, one defender, one midfielder that brings some amount of balance to the, to the midfield, both in attack and in defense. Works very hard, very hard off the ball, and when he gets the ball, he he uses the ball very well. Everal Swaby, possible or best utility player. He plays in the defense, he plays in midfield, and, and he works very, very hard, especially when 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 we are trying to win position of the ball. Uh, so he's one of those players that will give give you a, a, a lot of work when we are trying to win position of the ball. Um, Jamani Bell, uh, another utility player that can play that can play uh, in, the, in the striker position and also in midfield. 
um, bring a, someone with a balancing attack for the team. He shoots very well. And one of the things that he would have uh, expressed over the past three to four weeks is his ability to, to, to finish chances whenever he gets into position. Orion Watson, very clinical in front of goal, holds up the ball very well for us and he always makes himself present to receive as a striker. Um, Nicholas Simmons, uh, very, very, very physical, holds up the ball very well, very good technical player, also plays in midfield and plays up front whenever asked of him. Adrian Mahoney, physically his presence will be felt, he's strong, he's quick, he shoots very well and we're expecting to get um, a, a, a couple of goals from Adrian. Ashton Gordon, very nippy, quick, possible one of our fastest players as it relates to, to, to running in behind defence and he's also a very good finisher. And last but not least, Dylan John is uh, a playmaker in midfield, very, very good with the ball at his feet. And the final pass is what he does very well. Um, so that concludes our 20 man squad. And as I said before, uh, a 20 man squad that we are very, very confident that can help us to achieve our ultimate goal, and that is to take us to the World Cup in November 2023. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Reynolds. All right, so next we'll have Merrin Garden, the head coach. Um, he will answer your questions. And um, so you're going to put your, let's put your hand up and uh, I will identify you and then you will ask the, the whichever question you want to ask. All right? Okay. All right, so we have four hands up, and we're going to go, we start from top to first. Simon Preston, go ahead, sir. Good morning, coach. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Coach, as you know, there are players that were originally on the provisional list that not necessarily made the 20. So I just want to know from you solutions moving forward. Is it parents and guardians that have to do their due diligence moving forward to ensure that they have the paperwork so that these players can be selected in the 20 for future editions of youth teams moving forward? Yes, good morning, Simon. Um, definitely, especially Actually, at this age group, um, you know, these are minors, you know, so there's little or nothing that the Federation can do sometimes to achieve, you know, paperwork so these boys are to help them, you know. So um, most of the players that were on the provisional list, you know, these are players that we had, you know, had numerous conversations with parents and guardians for probably over a year now you know, to get the paperwork. So, you know, it just didn't fall through. You know, we are, we are, we are, we are not happy. But, you know, it's the reality of what we have, so we have to just work with it. All right, Coach. Thank you. All right, Simon. Let's go to Manning's man. Uh, good morning, uh, Coach Garden. Good morning to the other yeah, person. Man. Just on you. Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Coach Garden. Good morning to the other persons. Um, here this morning, just a, a couple of questions quickly. The the at the last press conference, you you responded to a question um, that was asked of you about system. Um, uh, persons walked away from that, believing that there was no plan um, in place for the team. I, I believe in that press conference, you alluded to the fact that you wanted the players so you can work through what you would do once you you, you kind of get the players together. Um, would you be able to just Clarify that for those who may have misunderstood what was said. Uh, thank you, management. Um, so someone asked me about systems, and I, we said that you know, being so early, we were, we, were, we had to assess the players we have to decide the system we are going to use to execute. You know, um, in order to qualify for the World Cup. So without giving away too much, you know, can't give away too much, you know, um, tactically, you know, to, 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 to the world. But yes, we assessed the players. We came up with the best solution in, in how the team should play. And, and we're, we're, we're working hard on that. And in, in our practice game coming up, 
you know, very, very sharply against Trinidad, you know, we should see, see some of those um, um, systems coming out. All right. And also, Javin Williams, who was, uh, I think, one of the better defenders in the team, he's out with a, a major knee injury. I mean, how does this affect the team going forward? Um, because he's also one of the leaders in, in, in the team. And um, what adjustments are necessary to kind of compensate for his loss um, from, the, from the squad? Thank you. Yes, Javin, um, big, strong, different that can, you know, also use the ball well, you know, but this is one of the reasons why I had, you know, such a huge squad, you know, and trying to hold on to these boys as much as possible, you know, just in case we have things like this, you know. So, yes, we have competent um, replacements, but yes, we definitely we miss a job in, you know, and we, the, the Federation is also working hard to help him to fix, you know, that long-term injury that he has. But it, it is not fault of ours, you know, it's an old injury, you know, that re reoccur. And we are, we are working very hard, you know, to fix this young, talented player for the future. All right, right Manning Van. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's move to uh, Livingston. Mr. Livingston. Um, yes, Coach. Morning, Coach. Um, my, my major concern is always the, the, the time to, to prepare the team. You have just assembled your, your, your final squad and we'll be basically putting things into motion to get these guys um, to the level you want. Um, how close are you to, to getting the team to, to that standard you want? And with just a couple of weeks remaining, do you think you'll be able to smooth up the, the things that you need to get before you go into the tournament? Um, smooth enough, um, things started a few weeks ago, um, living in but yes, I understand your concern. But, you know, I also, is a reality-based person, you know, you have the job to do with X amount of time, you know, so this is what, so we, we definitely, you know, working as hard as we can, you know, with the limited time we have to, to, to build into the future. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this is something that the Federation also is working very hard to correct in the very, very near future. Better, better the tournament. Yeah, but man, definitely. Age groups now, yeah. Yeah, man. So definitely, you know, that's going to be a real test for us because, you know, when you're playing, when, when boys play like against men, sometimes, you know, men are stronger, faster, probably think the game a little bit faster than us, you know, but I think the boys really, really did well against, you know, the Premier League teams and the collegiate teams. So this weekend definitely be a very good test for us against Trinidad. All right, coach. Thanks for your coach. Yeah. Thank you, Livingston. Of course, the, the game will be played at Uh, the Central Zibet Technical High School Ground in Santa Cruz, uh, 17 uh, versus Trinidad, uh, 17 is at 3 30 uh, this Saturday. All right, um, sports down so when the you're middle. Finished, I have a question, sports down the middle, yes, sports down the middle. I can go Are ahead. You yeah, all right, go ahead, go ahead. Who is that? Yes. Tishana? You hear me? You hear me? Oh, you hear me right? him, yeah, go ahead, man. All right, good morning, coach. Um, good morning, everybody. Coach, how confident are you in this um, team that you have a bunch of guys that you have? Or did you need more team? Did you need more time to um, get some more players in? Um, I think I answered part of that question earlier. I said that you know yes. it's a reality we have, but we are very, but we are very very confident in 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 the, the team selected now. But I also said earlier that this is this is what we have to work with now. But this is something that we're definitely going to correct in the very very near future in terms of you know time to prepare and and, and move forward. But you know we are confident with the twenty boys we chose. You know that can really go go ahead and give a good showing and hopefully can push us across the line to make it to Peru. All right, SD, DTL. Okay, Thank, Thank you. you. All right, let's go to uh, Trisha. Go ahead, Trisha. Good morning, everybody. Go ahead. Uh, good morning, Maron. Go ahead, so I know that you, based morning, on all that has been said, um, the boys have been preparing. I want to know what's the frame of mind of the boys and what are the objectives, realistic objectives, um, you have. We know, you know, based on what Livy had asked and you have answered repeatedly, 
about the time for preparing players that you would maybe want but maybe don't have or having the quality, etc. So what are the objectives that you and the team have set going in? Um, so the major objective on, on Trishana, you know, we are Jamaicans are really aim for the opportunity for, you know, and I think the boys start in a good, good frame of mind, you know, positive frame of mind. You know, this is something that they talk about every day. We are not just training to compete, we are training to, to make it to the World Cup. And, you know, it's to make it to a World Cup is not no easy thing, but at the same time, I think these boys have the grit and the deter determination that I think we can, we can, we can push through. And I think Think you know with the coaching staff, you know with, with experience Wendell Downsell, you know and and us, you know we 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 wrap minds around every day, we plan every day, we challenge each other every day, you know just to see how much we can push these boys to the extreme limit. That's it, Trishana. What do you think that you don't have as a team presently that you think you will need before maybe departure or? Um, you know, even while traveling and doing competition, because those things do play, still play a um, critical role in the success that you can have. And that's my final question. So, yeah, so we started the motivational um, speakers with the boys already. So little by little, we go on that between now and next week, you know, just to work on the, the mental aspect of the boys. Because I think the physical and tactical part of them, you know, we are, we are quite comfortable so far. So it's just to, to push them, you know, the, the psychological part of it, we are, we are pushing now, you know, to, to, to push them through. Thank you, Miss Magawa. Thank you. All right, so next we have, who's the next person? Uh, Mr. Minzi, go ahead, man. Unmute and go ahead. All right, um, good morning, colleagues. Good morning, um, coach. All right, um, two questions I want to ask. Um, with the with you losing one of your um, great defenders, or good defenders, so to speak, I want you to share with us how are you going to go about ensuring up the defense, knowing that in the practice games, you'd have gotten some some goals um, coming in on uh, against the team, and how critical is it for your, your the cutting edge in terms of the goal scoring um, attribute of the team? How are you going about working that so that they can score goals? As I was saying to the boys, this means to answer the latter part of the question, which is the goal scoring part of it. I was saying to the boys, in a quality international game, you will not get more than five to seven quality chances. So, and we are creating those chances. You know, it's just to put some away now. So we are really sharpening up the boys. You know, this morning we're working in front of goal, and we continue to do so. You know, um, into next week. So I think that part will 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 will, will be corrected. You know, and as I said, goal scorers are, are people that are special. You know, so we have a few of those now. And in, in the team that that I think you know can can get the goals going, but we were we were really working on to get in the ball in the final third because it makes no sense you're working on goals um, finishing when you are not getting the ball there, you know. And now we're getting the last three or four games we get four or five, six, seven chances against top quality teams, you know. So that those are the things that we are really working on hard hard now. And in terms of to answer your defensive questions, um, all the defenders in the team, they are competent and all of them got, you know, should I say, sh 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 your time playing practice games. So even though we, we, we miss um, Javin, you know, we have competent... All right. All right. All right. Just a That's second, um, a, a final part of the question. Can you assure the fans that this team, this group of players that you have, will qualify for the World Cup? Um, Minze, I don't know if, if if any coach will tell you that. And uh, assure fans, I can tell you that we have a very, very good and great opportunity, you know, to make it to this World Cup. And we're just going there to put all hands on deck and work as hard as we can to qualify this team. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're, uh, clearly the coach will be leaving here in a short while, but we have two more questions we're going to take. One from Livingston, because you've got your questions already, 
and one more from Simon, and then we are finished. Uh, go, go ahead, Livingston. Um, yes, my coach. Uh, I'm everybody talking about um, your, your, your chances of qualifying. Um, um, you have any issues you would like started out before um, you, you, you really leave the departure uh, and go into the tournament? Come on, I'm, we're quite comfortable where we're at now, Livingston. All right, coach. Thanks so much. And okay, and, and Simon, the last question goes to you, sir. Yes, coach. I'm kindly asking you to touch a little bit on what you know about our opponents going into the tournament, Cuba, the Guadalupe's, and also Costa Rica. The little that you know about them so far, and if you had a chance to look at the permutations, if Jamaica tops the group, what that could mean for us and other factors of that nature. Um, yes, Simon. Um, great question. Great question. Um, I think, you know, at this age group, as you know, Simon, it's not easy to get data from, from the teams. Um, but the little data we get, we are using them, you know, to the best of our, uh, of our abilities. Um, especially for the Cuban team, you know, we, we got a few, see a few clippings of some, some practice game they played. And uh, Costa Rica also, you know, we, we, we found a little thing up on Guadalupe. But, you know, um, I think the best route for us is to try and top the group, you know, and if we can't top the group, we have other plans that we, weren't, that we won't mention in this press conference, but our main major objective right now is to top the group. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. All right. Uh, I want to say thanks to everybody who joined us. Uh, a lot of